So Regan, a very warm well, welcome back. It's been 11 months since you've been back on the field, um, since you, and certainly since you stepped back on the, the Parker Scarlet with the Scarlet's jersey on. Um, how are you feeling? Um, you had, a, had a bit of time now last weekend. Yeah, well, I, was, I, was, I was looking to have uh, 15, 20 minutes last week, but Rob got injured, so sort of caught me off guard going on for half an hour. But I mean, in the end, it was a good thing, you know. I was getting nervous about going on and. I was just heading down to do my warm up when they said, you know, you're on now. So I think in the end, it was a good thing. Like bad for Rob, obviously, but, you know, good just to get on the pitch. Yeah, and um, how difficult has it been for you to be off for so long um, on the sidelines? Yeah, well, you know, I, I had the uh, surgery and I was still having problems with it. They, uh, I had a nerve conduction test and they found that I had nerve damage as well. So, you know, I've had a few setbacks, but uh, I think it's just been more mentally draining than anything, you know. Just looking at the gym all the time, because that's all I've been doing is gym work, and you know I'd, I've been getting a bit sick of that. But you know to get back on the pitch with the boys and training and, and in with them has, has been good. And you know finally, the end results is getting on the pitch, and I've done that last week, and uh, hopefully we can do it this week again. Yeah, and how much do you owe really to the medical team though in terms of bringing you back? It's quite a serious injury, and bringing you back and, and sort of getting getting you fit now. For yeah, the season. it was a very serious injury really, and um, you know. They've, uh, they've been patient with me as well because you know the, the uh, it wasn't coming along as quickly as hoped um, because of the nerve the nerve damage. So you know they've stuck in there with me and and uh, full credit to Pat and and Matthew and, and Brad getting me back to fitness. So you know it's it's just a matter of uh, getting match fit now. Yeah, and you feeling quite motivated by being back now training with the guys. Obviously you've been doing that for a while. And yeah, well it's nice to get back in with them. You know I've been by myself because we didn't have too many injuries to begin with and. Uh, you know, now that the boys are on a roll as well, we've won four on the four on the bounce, which I don't think we've ever done since I've been here. I've been here five years. It's uh, it's nice to come into a, a winning environment, and you know, we'll put ourselves in a great position this week for the uh, LV Cup, and um, hopefully we can get a win this week and secure a home semi. Yeah, fine. And obviously, you've been watching the, the season from the sidelines and seeing some of the young guys get quite a lot of exposure into the field. What you know, in terms of how the region's developing and bringing these youngsters through, what, what are your sort of perspectives on that? Yeah, well, obviously, it's great for the coaches to have uh, such a wide selection base. You know, um, with the Six Nations now, you know, some of the boys have gone away, some of our you know key members, but you know, the guys that stepped in last week done done a job as well. You know, it's no easy task going up to Wasp and, and getting a win, and uh, the boys done that last week, so. You know, it's obviously it's it's good for the team. Um, competition for places. You know, no one can be complacent because they know the next guy's right on his heels. So, yeah, it's it's good. And just about obviously you personally, you've been with the region now for four or five years, haven't you? Yeah. Why is this region so special? Um, well, the, the mad about the rugby, innit? Um, we've had a, a few uh, dark dark years lately, and you know, it, it seems that everything's it's going all right now. We've we've put ourselves in place for a. For a semi-final, hopefully, and you know we're still in the other two competitions. So, you know, it'd be nice to win some silverware. I, I haven't won none since I've been here, and uh, hopefully we can we can do something this year. Okay, and will we see? I mean, one of the burning questions is obviously with the injury. Will we see the same Regan King? You know, the one that uh, everybody was talking about. You know, the height of Europe as well last time. The, um, same, the same player coming back. Well, I'd, I wouldn't expect too much to begin with, but you know, every day my injury's getting better, and I'm feeling stronger. So, you know, it's going to take take a little bit just to get match fit, get a feel for the game, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still a bit rusty in, in training with passing and just finding my lines, but you know, it's coming every day, so, you know, the, the thing is I can only get better from now, so I'm just just looking forward to getting on the pitch. So Gavin, no real stranger to these surroundings, um, how's it been, um, obviously, from moving from the Scarlets over to, to the Blues from last summer, how's it, has it been for you since you moved? Um, I was a bit sort of apprehensive at the start, um, you know, because you know, I've spent a lot of years down down in the Scarlets, and you know, I you know I love the place, and you know, this is where I was born, um, and obviously I've supported the club, and you know I've played many years there. Um, but yeah, um, the move, um, I think it was a, a good decision of mine. Um, you know, a lot of people helped me with that decision, and um, you know I've loved I've loved every minute up up till now, really. Um, you know, the coaches been you know second and then. The players have been awesome, um, so yeah, I've enjoyed every moment of it. Obviously, a big game now coming up on Saturday with um, the Scarlets playing the Blues in uh, a, a spot in the semi-final of the LV Cup at stake. It was a must-win for both sides. What can what can uh, the supporters who are coming here on Saturday expect from the game? I think well, exactly what uh, you know we expected of us really um, when we played Newcastle. We put a lot of width in the ball, and you know we just played with flair and excitement and. and that's exactly what I think what we want to bring down uh, to the Scarlets. We know we, we know the Scarlets like uh, to play an open game, and you know they're not afraid to throw the ball about as well. So I think you know you know if you have a good crowd, I think the crowd would be entertained with with uh, you know if the weather's right as well. Um, 
you know, it'll be an entertaining game. Just one word on um, Regan King, your old teammate yeah. and old buddy. Yeah. Um, what um, you know, what kind of player? Well, that obviously he's not here, so we can't embarrass him. But yeah. um, what kind of player is he, and how great will it be for the Scots to have him back? Actually, I don't know. Yeah, he's just an exciting player. He's um, he's huge for these youngsters that, that, that are coming through, and it's, it's awesome. You know, I've I spoke to you. Know, I'm a really good mate, Regan, and we spoke um, leading this, leading up to this game and things. And and uh, yeah, he's excited. Um, and it would be exciting if uh, we were to play against each other. Yeah, what kind of player is he? I mean, you used to play with him. Yeah, he's just uh, he's just got so much flair. He's uh, he's um, you know he's, he, he's he's an all black basically, you know. So you know he's got great handling skills and ability to to pass the ball or contact, and and he's got great vision. So so it should be should be interesting to see him yeah, back on the field. Yeah, it would be interesting. Yeah, I'm just really glad for him that he's come come over the injury he had, and. Um, I'm hoping that uh, you know he's got a lot more years left in him. How do you feel about Saturday? Obviously, you know there's a strong chance you're going to be starting running out to the crowd here, the home crowd, after nearly a year. You yeah, know, how's well, that going to feel? I, I miss running out here to be honest. It's, uh, it's a hell of a feeling running out when the crowd's crowd's going, and you know the, I can't see why they won't be this week because we, as I said, we're in place for a home semi-final. So you know, and the Blues are down here as well, another derby match. So I'm sure uh, they'll be showing how uh, supportive they are of us. Excellent, and. Um, one last question. Prediction now for Wales England. Obviously, we've got a double header here. We've got our game at three o'clock on Saturday afternoon, followed by England Wales. What would your prediction for that game be, scoreline? Um, it's going to be a tough one up in Twickenham, but you know, I'd, I'd better put my head on the line and say uh, that Wales are going to get a win. I don't want to get lynched around here, <laughs> but uh, you know, hopefully they can they can do well. I feel uh, I feel like I'm a Welshman as well now. You know, since I've been here so long, so. You know, hopefully they can do do the uh, nation prop. Great. Um, one last word. Prediction for Wales England. Wales England. Um, I think Wales will win. Um, Eighteen twelve. Brilliant. Thanks. Yeah. Nice to see you. Yeah. Nice Cheers. to see you. Bye.